happy Friday. It's Friday. I'm so happy. And it's actually trying to be nice, but it's quite chilly out. Um, and a little bit breezy now. It wasn't breezy earlier. Jeez. <laughs> so I guess we have to go in because, you know, guys, as you guys know, you can never hear a darn thing I say when we're out there in the breeze, right? So, um, yeah, I got something to say today. <laughs> I got a few things to say today. Let's get the computer out of the way, shall we? That phone call from the uh, tech rep never came. It's Friday. It's three days later. I'm still waiting to hear from the guy who's supposed to come visit me and, and fix the speakers on this new computer. That's usual. That's the usual par for the course for HP. Really speedy service, guys. Thanks. Uh, anyway, so that's all I'm saying about the computer today because, my God, you guys are probably just about as fed up about it as I am. Um, so anyway, today I went out and uh, decided I've, I've got to get some more interval training into, under my belt lately. Um, I've been doing an awful lot of endurance running, mostly because I love it. I love to endurance run. Just go out there and turn my brain off or get deep into my brain or something, I don't know, and just run and go for what I always call, uh, it, the feeling is I liken it to going for a ride on my legs. I just get on my legs and go for a ride. And, um, you know, I love that. But I'm not doing enough h higher intensity stuff and not enough interval stuff where I confuse the heck out of my body and uh, burn fat a little faster. And, and I, I, f I feel like I'm letting my cardiovascular system down a little bit by not, by not pushing harder. So I'm going to push a little harder now that the weather's cooled off. So I went and did hill sprints today, and it was great. Um, but while I was walking down the hill today, <laughs> Uh, on my next route to run up the hill, um, I started thinking about um, Twitter and tweeting, and I thought, oh, I want to tweet this out, and then I thought, no, I don't, I want to blog this. Uh, it's a much bigger subject than just a tweet, and uh, what I wanted to say is, I wish that they would rename either body fat or dietary fat. I wish that they would take the word fat out of one of them, because... Oh, so many people out there trying to lose body fat restrict their dietary fat and I think it's really detrimental for people to believe that in order to lose fat you have to cut fat out of your out of your diet because it's just not true and it's not the same kind of fat <laughs> dietary fat is not body fat you guys just just gotta say that I just have to say it um, so you know if you're trying to cut um, if you're trying to lose body fat, yeah, cut out bad fat for sure. Cut out hydrogenated oils and cut out trans fats and crap like that for sure. It's bad for your health anyway. Um, but know this, if you cut out all fat from your diet, your body freaks out and um, takes every piece of fat that's in you and hangs onto it for dear life. <laughs> It's got no reason to let go of your body fat if you're not ingesting any dietary fat. I'm telling you, okay? So um, if you are trying to lose fat start and you want to cut fat, then yeah, cut all that bad fat. But replace it with good fats, you guys. Avocados and flax oil and walnuts and almonds and, well, any nuts and seeds, really. Please make sure that they're raw, not baked in some kind of hydrogenated oil, please. <laughs> please. Um, and salmon and other fishes and grass-fed meats like beef even, you know, I mean, as long as it's grass-fed, it's got great um, omega-3s and stuff like that in it. And But, you know, eat the lean ones if you're going to go for stuff like beef. Um, and chicken. And eat So eat like healthy fats. It doesn't have to taste gross. Avocados are delicious. So are walnuts. So is salmon. So is grass-fed beef. <laughs> I eat buffalo too. Um, well, everybody calls it buffalo. It really isn't. It's called it's bison. Uh, I don't know why we've managed to transfer the name buffalo over to North American bison. But anyway, because buffalo is an African animal. Did you know? Anyway, um, so that's what I got to say today. Is just the whole thing about fat. I'm just I'm sick of watching people I know desperately trying to lose weight and cutting out all fat and not being able to lose weight and wondering why. It's like well because your body isn't getting any fat, so it's hanging on to everything you've got. So, yeah, that's my very opinionated opinion today, you guys. So um, take it to heart, please, because it's all true. Um, and that's, uh, that's more, or less it, more, more or less it for the day. Um, I'm going to throw up uh, a, a link to Fat Burning Furnace on the sidebar. <laughs> yeah, that way, right? Um, because it's a really good book. I just read it, and it's a really good book, and it's, worthy, it's a worthy read. And I did review it over on Flab Labs, if you guys want to check out my, my, my review over there. 
Um, but if you don't want to check out my review over there, you just want to go take a look at it, then just go to my sidebar and grab it, or uh, take a look at it there. Because um, he's got a lot of good inter interesting things to say about fat burning as well, uh, over and above the whole diet thing. And um, it's, it's, it's a worthy read. I really enjoyed it. It's got a lot, of, a lot of good stuff to say and some interesting fast workout techniques too that I, I, I approve of. I'm surprised someone put a book out with the, this, these particular techniques because I think it's a hard sell. Um, I think these are all techniques that work for sure, uh, but I do think it's a hard sell. So give it a read if, you, you know, if, if you're interested because it's really, really kind of off the beaten path, which is a good thing uh, because the beaten path isn't working, is it? <laughs> all right, you guys, that's it for today. Uh, i got to get back on the computer as usual and maybe hope the phone rings and HP calls me and does does me right by this cotton picking computer anyway you guys so um canadians have a great thanksgiving because that's that's this weekend uh don't overindulge unless it's your cheat day that's all i gotta say and um americans ah oh, ha we get a long weekend you don't <laughs> and everybody else everywhere else in the world i don't know who's getting what kind of holiday this weekend but i have a feeling canada is the only one so you guys all have a great weekend and we'll see you again very soon take care bye